welcome to the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Noah, and in this show, if you answer a question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Ew. Joining us today, we've got Liam and Hendrix. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about Andrew Jackson from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you really remember. Here are your messes for today. Soil and seeds, sticky syrup, chicken skins, goo, marshmallow tar and feathers, spray cheese, celery juice spray, anchovies, slime, and a pie in the face. Oh, <laughs> Before we play, Andrew Jackson was America's seventh president from 1829 to 1837. He is also the guy with wavy hair on the $20 bill. Jackson was known as the first common man president. He rose to the nation's highest office despite being born into a poor family and orphaned at age 14. Before becoming president, he was a fierce warrior. People nicknamed him Old Hickory after the hickory trees, known for being tough. He won a courageous victory against the British in the Battle of New Orleans during the War of 1812. Jackson worked hard so more Americans could vote and participate in our democracy. Are you ready to play the game? Yeah! The youngest player goes first. Now everybody get your hands in the bowl. You're not allowed to take them out for the whole entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Got it? Okay. Got it. Hendrix, here's your first question. Andrew Jackson's face is on which dollar bill? Five, one, 20, or he's not on any piece of money? 20. That is correct. He is on the $20 bill. Liam gets the mess. Smell it. You don't like dirt. It. it is dirt. Soil and seeds. Maybe you'll grow into a tree. Ew. Okay. Feels nice. <laughs> feels nice. Yeah, it feels soft. Oh, that smells disgusting to me. <laughs> Question number two. What was Andrew Jackson's famous nickname? Big President, Old Glory, President Hickory, or Old Hickory? Old Hickory. That is correct, it is Old Hickory. Jackson was called Old Hickory because hickory trees are strong and durable. By the time Jackson was 14, he survived prison, smallpox, and becoming an orphan. You get mess number two, what is it? It's so gross. Sticky syrup! Oh shoot. Oh, you're gonna be all sick. <laughs> Did you just lick it? Delicious. Okay. Andrew, you get question number three. Why was Andrew Jackson known as a common man president? Because he, did, he was poor and he did not have a lot of money. That was close, but we're looking for what was described in the magazine. So that means Liam gets a shot. Why was Andrew Jackson known as a common man president? Because he had a policy that um, the common man would be able to vote because at that time, only the rich could vote. Wow, that is correct. He made it easier for regular people to vote and his policies didn't favor wealthy people. But Hendrix gets mess number three. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> Chicken skin! My favorite. Your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> you just eat it? I eat everything. You're a very adventurous eater. <laughs> Question number four goes to Liam. That was crazy. <laughs> what had made Andrew Jackson famous before becoming president? He fought in the War of 1812 as a general. Wow, he was a famous general, that is correct. Andrew Jackson was a general in the War of 1812 when he led Native Americans and former slaves to fight together as soldiers against the British. Hendrix. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. Goo, it's so <laughs> sticky. Oh shoot. <laughs> I think you need a little more. <gasps> it's so sticky! Ooh. It won't even come out! <laughs> Alright, that's enough for me. 
What is that? I don't know. It's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. You each get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in the Andrew Jackson Digital Magazine. The twist? You both get blindfolded for your question and for your mess. Oh, oh no. Patriot pop quiz question number one goes to Hendrix. What is the name of the boat that brought the pilgrims to America? The Nina, the Pinta, the Titanic, or the Mayflower? The Mayflower. That is correct. It was the Mayflower, which means Liam gets the most. Is it marshmallow? <gasps> Maybe. <gasps> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, girls! I can even hear it. It tastes so good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna eat this one. Mm. Feathers. 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 Look like a little chicken. <laughs> okay, Patriot Pop Quiz question two goes to Liam. What is the name of America's national anthem? Oh, say can you see? Old Glory, Stars and Stripes Forever. Or the Star Spangled Banner? The Star Spangled Banner. That is correct. It is the Star Spangled Banner. She means Hendrix. I wonder what this is. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what it is. <sighs> really? What do you think it is? Paint. <laughs> <gasps> She's oh. right! Oh, oh, do you smell it? Gosh. I can't stand cheese spray. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Now back to the magazine questions. Question number five. When he was 13, what did Andrew Jackson do that led to a British officer slashing his face with a sword? He refused to shine someone's boots. That is correct. He refused to shine the man's shoes. I'm really impressed that you knew that. Hendrix gets the man. No, no, not again. Is that pickle juice? No way, that's pickle juice. That's pickle I'm, juice. I'm scared of Is that pickles. pickle juice. That's not pickle juice. <laughs> okay, celery, celery juice. Oh, oh celery. Ew. I thought oh. it was pickle juice. It stinks. It does stink. Ugh. I hoped it was pickle juice. Question six goes to Hendrix. Which American state was Andrew Jackson born in? One, Tennessee. Two, New York. Three, North Carolina. Or four, it's unknown. Maybe North Carolina or maybe South Carolina. Tennessee? No, it's oh actually gosh. incorrect, which means now oh Liam gets oh, a I knew it. I knew which it. American state was Andrew Jackson born in? One, Tennessee. Two, New York. Three, North Carolina. Or four, it's unknown. Maybe North Carolina or maybe South Carolina. Unknown. It's maybe South Carolina or North Carolina. That is correct. It is unknown. Maybe North Carolina or maybe South Carolina. Andrew Jackson was born on March 15, 1767, somewhere in the Carolinas region. He was the first president to be born in a log cabin. Hendrix again? <laughs> What's going on with you, dude? Oh, it's fish. It's totally oh, sardines. Oh, it's totally you got sardines. Fish. Anchovies! <laughs> oh, no, not in my bowl. Please, not in my bowl. Oh, there we go. Mm, this actually looks kind of good. What about a little fish juice? Oh, it actually doesn't smell bad. It smells like a donut. What? It actually smells a like donut? a donut. Mine just smells like Home Depot. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to it. Question seven goes to Liam. <laughs> Why did the White House smell like cheese years after Andrew Jackson left office? Oh my gosh. Because a dairy farmer gave him a piece of cheese, a big piece of cheese, and he let it sit there for two years. What? Wow, that what? is correct. Wow. After receiving a gift of a 1,400 pound wheel of cheese, he let it age for two years in the White House before throwing a huge cheese party for the public. Oh, no, 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 no. What's going on with you? Not in the bowl, not in the bowl. Not in the bowl? Not in the bowl, okay. not in the bowl. <laughs> Do you just oh, say the opposite of what paint. you want? Uh, 
no, not in the bowl. Not what in a the pretty prank are you orange, though? <laughs> oh, it's dripping on the table. Ugh, this is the girl. Okay, last question. Last question. I knew this would happen. Question number eight. Why did President Jackson believe that every state had to respect laws made in Washington, D.C.? Because the president lived there and he should be in charge of the United States of America. Unfortunately, that is not correct. Oh, We're looking no. for an answer specifically described in the magazine. So that means Liam gets a shot. Oh my gosh. Why did President Jackson believe that every state had to respect laws made in Washington, D.C.? Because a civil war would break out if people didn't follow his rules. That's close, but the way it was described in the magazine is if one state ignored one law, then all states could ignore all laws and the whole country would split apart. Well, since you both got the answers wrong, you both get the mess. But I don't think this one's bad. I actually think this one's really yummy. Me too. Oh no. Oh. Yeesh. <laughs> oh, hopefully that's one for Liam, please. Make it for him. <laughs> it's out. out. <laughs> what about strawberry mm, delicious. sauce? Mm, yum. Mm. Okay, so a little more. Yep. Who wants to go first? Me. Him. Okay, fine. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> okay, Hendrix's turn. Ah! No. You really don't want it? No. I'll take his pie. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. That's a good friend. Hendrix, since you didn't get the pie in the face. <laughs> This is what you get! <laughs> More syrup! Oh, Here's what we learned. Before becoming the seventh US president, Andrew Jackson was a great war hero who defeated the British in the War of 1812. He was very tough and never backed down from defending what he felt was right. He was the first president who came from poverty and was known as a common man president. Drum roll, please! The winner is Liam! Woo! Yay! Here's what you've won. A proud to be an American medal and a jar full of American coins. Why coins though? Because our American mottos are printed on all coins. In God we trust, liberty and e pluribus unum, which means out of many, one. This phrase reminds us that we're all Americans here together even though we all have different backgrounds. Did you boys have fun? Yeah! Thank you for playing with us. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> for being great sports, both of you are going home today with gifts from our PragerU store. Yay! We hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit PragerU.com slash kids and enjoy all our digital magazines and shows. Now, shake hands. What about a high five? What about a high five? See you next time! Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.